The North Coast region provides an ideal climate for internal parasites such as worms and coccidiosis. The subtropical climate, high rainfall and lack of temperature extremes all combine to create the perfect environment for these parasites to survive for extended periods on pastures. Control has traditionally focused on frequent chemical treatments or drenches, but with emerging and increasing resistance across multiple drench classes, as well as demand for high quality organic products with reduced chemical inputs, it's time to explore and adopt alternative pest management systems. Worms have a simple direct life cycle, which means they spend the larval stage of their life on pasture and the mature stage of their life within the host species. We can exploit this pasture-based life stage for non-chemical control of these pests. Integrated pest management is a multi-pronged approach, focusing on increasing animals' innate resistance to worms, reducing pest challenge on pasture, and strategic drenching only when needed. Animal resistance factors include age, nutrition, genetics and stress. Safe pastures can increase the interval between chemical treatments by reducing exposure to infective larvae. They're particularly valuable in protecting vulnerable young stock from infestation. Ways to create safe pastures include long paddock rotations, although in this area larvae can survive for up to nine months on pasture, which is often an impractically long time to have a paddock out of rotation. Hay or silage making removes large numbers of parasites from the pasture, as well as making conditions unfavourable for survival of remaining parasites. A cropping rotation or newly established pastures also reduces the number of larvae on paddocks due to soil disturbance and the long period ungrazed. Rotation with other species such as sheep or horses, as these animals do not share most worm species with cattle. Rotation of high risk young stock with lower risk older animals over periods of six months can also be effective. Other tips for creating safer pastures include grazing long pastures, as most of the infective larvae lives down near the soil, so overgrazing increases the risk of ingestion. Avoid returning recently drenched animals to heavily contaminated pastures, as they're likely to become rapidly reinfested. Avoid constantly running young animals on the same pasture year after year, such as in calf nurseries, and make sure you look after the dung beetle population on your property. Strategic drenching is where worm testing is utilised to ensure animals are only treated when they have a worm burden that's likely to be reducing production. Worm testing is a method to measure the likely worm burden in animals. A number of faecal samples are taken and the faeces is combined and the eggs per gram are calculated. This can assist in selecting when is an appropriate time to drench, such as in strategic drenching, or can be utilised for a drench check to ensure that the drench you've used has been effective. A drench is classed as having been effective if it kills over 95% of a worm population. A drench check involves doing a worm count on the day of drenching and then repeating it 14 days later to make sure that you've had an effective kill. Worm egg counts are less reliable in older animals. A high count is always significant, but a low count combined with clinical signs such as weight loss or scouring may indicate an infection. Another option if worm testing is unlikely to fit with your management system is to perform a diagnostic drench, whereby a small proportion of the mob is treated and the response is monitored. This can save a lot of time and money in unnecessary drenching. Worm test kits are available for free from your nearest local land services office. They contain 10 pots for faecal samples, a glove for collecting, a submission sheet for the details of your latest drench, as well as a reply paid envelope to send it all in. Price list testing can be found on the EMAI website.